Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to S-T-K-L-E-R. S-T-A... Fuck. Oh boy, here we go. Game world. S-T-A-L-K-E-R. Clear sky. I'll be a stalker. Um, I was not sure about doing this LP. Because the game, uh, does not play nicely with OBS been struggling with it for like 20 minutes to get it to work and um because i already have a post-apocalyptic game running on the channel because this is coming out of the same time as fallout new vegas but you know what that's fine so uh why am i connecting to a server here this is a uh this LP might end up being cut short. I usually make a promise to finish all of my games, but um, whew. you can. Uh, this one has already proven to be quite problematic. Oh man! Like I also heard that apparently this is the worst stalker, but it's the first one chronologically, so I wanted to play it first. So does this game like randomly generate or something? Because I don't understand why it's taking so long to load. It's not like it's a new game. It's not as old as New Vegas or the other Stalker, but it's a... Uh, well, while we're here, I can share what I know about Stalker. So Stalker is based off of a movie, which is based off of a book called Roadside Picnic, which is an amazing name for a book. Okay. Ugh. He's so mushy. Why does it actual fact we have nothing to worry about? According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is two point one three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly. Although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this Okay. You're a vague. That's good. You're a vague. Welcome back to the world of the living stock. How are you feeling? My head's splitting and spinning. Basically, I'm in real good shape. Do you remember what happened to you? I remember leading an expedition to the swamps, bunch of scientists, then the emission. That's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Why does it look like to the zone? In the jogging mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebede, the group leader. And I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky. And you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. I guess I got lucky then. Lucky? I doubt. 
The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodogs. Pseudodogs? Got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Okay. So yeah, I kind of expected that I would just be, like, dropped into a... Uh, gameplay. Like, they would give me a gun and say, okay, go. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> miscellaneous Russian talk. So this is not at all what I expected. What's your problem? What's new in the zone? Uh, Corden gave an army, yada yada yada. Okay, see ya. Okay, so I can jump. This is, uh... Not what I expected. Ah, it's you. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. Mercenary Scar. Um... What is Clear Sky study the Zone? People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the Zone truly is. Young okay, so man, what is it? If only I had the answer to that question. Uh, we don't know. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in... I wish I know whose it is. To find out. Since man is that within man's power? Mission, I feel What's the point? Is not okay, see ya. If that is all, I better get back to my work. I, um... I know a lot less about this game's world and story than uh, Fallout. To wit, in fact, you guys are actually seeing me play a stalker game for the very first time. I've never played a game like this before. Um, to my knowledge, it is essentially just like... It's considered by a lot of people to be just like... A Russian equivalent to Fallout. Where Fallout is like based off of 50s Americana and how shitty that actually was. Whereas this is like, um, 1980s Russia. Uh, the original book was, I don't believe it was based off of Chernobyl. Uh, because as far as I know, it actually hadn't happened yet when the book was wrote. Welcome back from the Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend. There's not much to tell. You drink and I'll tell you about this place. It just is that Robin Atkins Downs? How'd you end up here? Collecting bottles one after another and they let me here. <laughs> Would you give me a clue? I'm not sure to the zone. Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. Lebedev is the guy I've met. I met Bean Polev. Then there's Bean Polev. Professor Is that guy's real name? It's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone. Gray. And Suslov. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can. Cole, leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libendev says he needs to see you, then he's up to discuss Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I stepped in the fire and it hurt me. Oh my god. It's gonna be hard to get that health back. I don't like it when games do that. I know it's realistic, but currently, I'm, I've just started playing. Why would they do that? Like, why, why would a, why would they allow the player to hurt themselves so easily in the starting area? I think that that is a misstep in game design.
be the original book, Roadside Picnic, is um, it's based off of the idea of like a bunch of teens. You look pretty good for someone who survived. Too slow. Got something for me? No. Good luck to you. The idea of like a bunch of teenagers having a picnic by the road. They just run out. I guess I'll do my quest. The idea of a bunch of like teenagers having a picnic by the road and they litter everywhere. Haven't slept for three days. Okay. Height, I say. Got some fresh air. Okay. You look better, that's for sure. Why are you hiding? As I said. Well, what was peculiar about That's it? There's all kinds of shit. That mission was incredibly powerful. If I remember how I survived, I'd tell you. How can I help you? I can walk you and hold a gun. Can I get the hell out of here? Not by a long shot. The swamps are a real made. What are you trying to say? Tough time here recently. The mission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. This is the second outpost. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! That's enough chit chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. Great. I remember Head what to do. To the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic. E okay. Trader, a fighter is on his way through. Issue him with all the equipment. Okay, cool. Be a bunch of teens, leave a bunch of trash, and then the wilderness animals all see it. Shotgun, PMM, knife, echo, bandage, first aid kit, and anti rads. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. Why was I allowed to ask a question if I didn't get an answer? Why just the one question as well? Okay, so it tells me the task if I hold down tab. Okay, we've got caps lock. I'm glad to see you, young man. Oh, I, 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 didn't I will say, my character is not cool. Kind of wish that I had a character creator, but like, I can see why they wouldn't do that. Okay. I is inventory? It is. Weird. Okay. Three, three, zero, three, three, side protection. I have three rad protect, three fire protection, three acid protection. My health is full, my armor condition is full. Okay, so that's you. I don't know what that does. P is map. All right, all right, get some rest. Got the equipment? They'll quit wasting time. Okay. Is it the little red circle? Everyone's being very impolite to me. I don't know how to read a map. Or how to do anything, really. Wow, my walk speed goes down to nothing with that. Crouch, huh? Stalker, what do you want? I'm ready. I'll blindfold you. Okay. <laughs> you can just say we're gonna go in a loading screen, dude. Okay. Pistol. Why does he take it out so cool? Okay, cool. Mark, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Okay, how do I do that? Will I be told how to do that?
Oh, whoa. This is a little bizarre. The sound is not good. Okay, hold on. That has to that has to come down. Okay. Don't fucking crash. Oh my god, it's crashing, y'all. All right. Um Pro tip for soccer clear sigh. Uh, don't play with the sound effects. Because otherwise the game will just stop working. Is this... Is this what we're... Wow. It's still rather loud. Okay. Taking a lot of damage here. And I am, in fact, still taking a lot. I'm gonna die. Oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts and anomalies. You can't see them. <laughs> oh my god. This game is not put together well. Oh man. All right, let's just try this again. Oh man, this might just attention. be a one-off. I'm not sure how much of this I actually want to struggle through. Okay. Now, how do I... go about this? Okay. Well, I've tried every key on the keyboard. I don't know what that- a bolt. I didn't expect it to be that. Oh, so it literally flies away. Okay. So does that mean I go this way? Do I have ammunition for this? Or is it just assume that I have oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts and anomalies. You can see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. This is really weird. Like, I've talked about pacing in games a lot. I don't know. I guess maybe I just didn't know what I was coming into. I didn't know what to expect. Because, like, I assumed that I was going to be playing a, a game that was like a Fallout, but not... How do I put this? Not an RPG. Just, you know, kind of as simple as that. I didn't know... You know, that was just an assumption. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh boy, game's crashing again. Okay, guess it changed its mind.
has canceled Ascend the Tower. Attention all fighters. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now. Oh, huh. Does this count as cover? Okay, now I'm I'm actually being drawn in a little more because of this. The idea that weather would become a game mechanic is actually really cool. What? Why is the task canceled, video game? Okay, do I still have all my shit? Yep. Okay. I'm now being drawn in a little more. Wait, this way. You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. That surprised? The boys picked you up not far from the tower when things come down a bit. You know, Bean Polev was right. You defy. I can't believe his name is Bean Polev. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities. Which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Okay. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is happening. different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo. A place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. I wonder why they call it that. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish grinder. Wish -grinder, the more unpretentious huh? ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time. But I don't know. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if What's the danger of such frequent emissions? The zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone, you're right. But we do know how to prevent the disaster and stop the emissions. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them. At There's a strange you connection me? between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. Okay, and sure. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us and you'll see. Okay, my options are pretty limited. Fortunately, yes. So, if you help, yes, I'll help. Carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Cordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. For these How do I reach the Cordon? But remember what I said. After the emission. Okay, I would love to find out how I can actually stop emissions from hurting me. Uh, if you want to survive out there, you need to learn about tactical situation in PDA's features. What's it like? Uh, great. What have you done to gain control? Reduce the numbers. Shoot down as many as we can. What are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your main guide is the objective okay, cool. section. Okay. Your main objective is displayed here. 
together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Okay. Most objectives are also displayed on the map, with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. Sure. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy, but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Sure. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, Can... friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, <laughs> our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Okay. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. Okay. And this is our equipment supply. <laughs> We're doing great. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. Okay. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. <laughs> okay, so now we're doing faction calculus. That's pretty much it. Okay. What can you offer me? This backpack. How much is that going to send me back? I don't, what's in there? No idea. I don't have that much cash. Okay, see ya. Capture the pump station. Okay. So now... Okay. It doesn't have that long of an intro. Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What kind uh... Yeah. Jesus. What a limited selection. Yeah. You got something for me? Flash drive. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to go capture the... Swamps, I think. Okay. So what are my buttons here? I cannot bring up a weapon. This is, uh... Get away from me. Anomalies, huh? See, so you know I would have assumed that an anomaly would be like a monster of some variety. Okay, so O does this. Okay, P. Okay. Hmm. Freedom, duty, bandits, stalkers, renegades, and clear sky. Wow. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. That's a uh, okey doke. You have my full attention. Take me to the swamps. Do I have to be blindfolded? Okay. Mark, it looks like 
are at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. What you are those? The of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. What in God's name? Oh god, it's like a dog with a people face. So these would be the, uh, mutants. What if I shouldn't have shot them? Oh, man. Very strange. Those don't even look like the same species. Xenia Brick. Zinka Brick. Oh, man. This is so weird, dude. Eliminate the enemy at the old church. Okay, I can probably do that. Um, the graphics are pretty good. The color scheme could probably use a little work. It's not gray, at least, but it is very beige. It's not brown as well, so... Damn you. Where on earth are you? That was definitely Robin Atkins Downs. Hey, man, what's up? Keeping guard at the camp. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, dude. I just got here. Everyone's being so mean to we me. Can't I'm trying, man. Is this the right way? Okay. Damn you. Where on earth are you? Dude, I don't know where I am. I've been here for ten minutes. Down and wait. Okay, so everything's fine then. I think we got them all. Here we go again. I'm I'm so lost, guys. I just got here. Okay. Is he wearing track pants? He was. Bandage. So they made a big deal about like, oh, you have to get over there, you have to help them, but like, it appears to me that they solved the problem perfectly fine on their own. Okay. Okay, anyone else? I'm kind of reminded of Cry of Fear a little bit, although maybe it's just because it's like a Eastern European production. You boys, listen up. This is game is good. I will. I won't say that it's bad. 
I'm not sure if it's my style of game. Oh boy. See, there's this specific genre of video game referred to as uh, Eurojank. It's a. Uh... Oh, good, I did it. Genre of a video game called Eurojank. It refers to video games wherein the player. It just feels a little jank, you know? Like, it's not that it's bad, just a little ooh. You know, it's not terrible, it could be better. Suggest. Will I drown if I go too deep? I, I, I don't want to make any assumptions about my character. Those are all friends, right? Is he throwing grenades? Where did he get those? Oh, I'm dying. See, I wasn't really given an indication of that. Like, I didn't know I was dying until I was dead. I won't. You should find the location of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. See, I like that he said you can look and see what the they are. Trying to use cover here. I'm trying to think to my XCOM. Like the fact that it doesn't even automatically load your last save. And the load times are so long. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh, you got this guy as well, huh? Pushing F does nothing, I guess. Okay. Let's get to safety first. Yeah, apparently this is the... This is the worst stalker game. Which I'm okay with. Like if I if I don't like the worst game in a franchise, then like cool. I'm fine with that, you know. Okay, and then we're heading to this tower. Eh? <laughs> if I don't like the worst game in a particular franchise, does that just make me a fan? Can I loot him for anything? I can try. I'm playing possibly one of the most boring characters in video games. Russia loves post-apocalyptic stuff. Because as far as I know, Fallout is popular there. And then they also have... What did I just pick up? God.
Oh, should I swap this? A scope. Okay. Double barrel shotgun. I like that. This is a pretty good defensible position. Probably where they got it. <laughs> I'm hearing gunshots. The idea of just being dropped into the middle of a faction war is pretty interesting. I mean, it's part of why uh, New Vegas has so much, you know, good shit on it. Two, one. What is that? Oh, it's distance to an anomaly, right? Two. No, it's distance to the objective. So this is the objective. Okay. Now if I hit P... I am to capture old church. See if I just go this way. Okay. Character's speed is okay when sprinting, but pretty mediocre when you're walking. So if I remember right, the uh, Metro games are also based off of the uh, Russian, some Russian literature. Okay. Excuse me, everyone. Okay, what is he on to be able to survive to, like, a, uh, like, buckshot to the mouth? Anyone else? Next? Alright. What is this? First aid kit. Uh, I appear to be bleeding. Do I p put it on my face? Am I not? Oh, it looks like my health's going back up. Okay, cool. Let's start looting them. Oh, wow, this guy had some goodies on him. Am I going to have to, like, repair my stuff together? A lot of double barrel shotguns. Bread. Not contaminated and is quite edible. So if I eat that, what is this? What's this bar? Armor condition, right? What's this? Stamina. Okay. Cool. So I imagine that I could, if I wanted to, just start shooting the, the guys that I work with. Like, not to be an American here. But it could be done. And it would put me on, like, a different quest to get the factions on my side. I think I found why these fellas can survive a shotgun blast to the face. All right now that I've got a weapon that I enjoy and I'm doing my objectives, I actually I'm starting to like this a little more. I will keep playing. This would be a good game to stream because it's very slow. It's very methodical. Faction war. Capture machine yard. Can I do that right now? Like, will they start to stock up on, on my rewards? Because that sounds cool. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Why is it getting foggy?
Hazardous radiation. In the graveyard, eh? Okay. I can... That's fine. This shotgun is a real piece of work. Really workable. Very useful. Wait, wait. God damn it. Well, that's the first episode of Stalker. I'm going to flip a coin and see if I'm going to keep playing. Uh, if I'm not, the next video will be something else. Uh, but if I am, you'll know in three-ish days. Uh, bye.